We're going up to the tall mountains. Yay! We, we made it. it to Princess Louisa Inlet. Absolutely gorgeous here. We're Jack and Sonia, and this is our salty boat cat, Fathom. After refitting our Passport 42 and sailing San Francisco Bay for seven years, we finally untied the lines and sailed north to explore the majestic waters of the Pacific Northwest. Since then, we've sailed thousands of nautical miles in search of warmer waters down south. Thanks for subscribing and hopping aboard for the adventure of a lifetime. This time on To The Horizon Sailing, we left the creepy Green Bay Anchorage and made our way up the Jervis Inlet. Our destination is Princess Louisa Inlet, which every cruiser said we must visit. The trek to get to Malibu Rapids was about 28 nautical miles and it was mostly motoring. We were all alone and blown away at the towering mountains all around us. Snow-capped peaks popped out of the misty clouds to remind us that we were still early in the season. We passed pretty heavy patches of red tide, which is a bloom that happens when warmer temperatures arrive in the area. This meant that no water was being made today on board. I think we're going to try to make Princess Louisa Inlet the Malibu Rapids at the slack of 8.05 p.m. So we have plenty of time. Might as well enjoy it. Got the jib out. Wind from behind. Sailing up Jervis Inlet. So around that little corner is the yeah, Patrick that Point Anchorage. Well, if it's that close, we can anchor and hang out if we want. Okay, we just anchored at Patrick's Point, and it is absolutely gorgeous here. And we aren't even up to Princess Louisa Inlet, but it's still incredible. Oh, he's on the move. Now we had time to kill. After flying the drone, we dug into some history about Princess Louisa Inlet. Of course, these lands belong to the First Nations communities in the area, but after colonization made that less apparent, Mac McDonald purchased the major sections of the inlet in 1919. Since then, sections of the land have come up for sale and the community of British Columbia has had successful crowdfunding programs to preserve the natural beauty of this site. We are picking up anchor at Patrick's Point, which is kind of just across the way from the Malibu Rapids entrance to Princess Louisa Inlet. It's going to be slack tide when we go through, so that's a good thing. And we haven't seen any other boats around. We'll hail on the VHF just to make sure that there's no one coming downstream because it is a really narrow blind turn that we have to do. So. That's definitely one of the things they told us to do in the guidebooks and stuff. This is like a huge cruising mecca up here um, to get up to Princess Louisa Inlet. So yeah, we're super excited, but it's definitely nerve wracking. We're not used to all these deep water anchorages and all these crazy current. We'll see how it goes. OMG. You're gonna do great. I've been looking at this chart for months. I know, it's like Cape Mendocino. Like, <laughs> just gotta shit or get off the pot. Of course, just as it's we're starting to get to Malibu Rapids, it just started to rain. But we're almost there, and then we will just be ready to go when it's slack tide. Securite, Securite, this is sailing vessel Gemini at the base of Malibu Rapids, planning to transit at slack tide. 
this is a 42 foot sailing vessel. Any vessels needing to communicate, hail back on 16. Over. That's not what I wanted to say. That's okay. But I, was... I don't think anyone's coming out. A couple more minutes till slack tide and then we can go through. Tell them why we're waiting a couple more minutes till after slack. Because the slack that we have in the chart in the current book is for a different location and you have to add like 35 minutes to that to make it correct for this area. So that's what it says on Navionics and on a couple other places. So we're just kind of waiting to see what the water is doing, but um, it looks like it's still coming out, which is what it should be doing. So yeah, once it stops coming out or once it gets closer to that time, then we'll make it through. Coming in to Malibu Rapids. It's about five minutes before slack tide. It's absolutely beautiful though. So apparently this lodge here used to be for celebrities to come hang out but it actually turned into a Christian summer camp now, so it looks very fancy. Yeah, I can see the water boils here. We went to shore after the pass and caught the water in full flow. Wow, timing is everything. Officially in Princess Louisa Inlet. Hell yeah! That was not bad at all. I can see how it's getting I mean, shitty though. <laughs> yeah, oh. totally. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh man, nice. Okay. Yay! We, we made it. it to Princess Louisa Inlet. All it's right. official. We just made it through Malibu Rapids. We were the only boat going through. We made it through at a slack tide, so it was pretty uneventful, and now we're up here. Yeah, we are up here, that's for sure. Okay, smile. The days were incredibly long, and we still had daylight until 9 p.m., which is when we finally docked in this stunning location. Join us next time as we hike around Bear Forest and explore this amazing destination. Until next time, stay salty.